because he was so salty about this game when it first started. <laughs> uh, just, uh, so uh, it's good, it's good to see him here um, and sort of reference to Bowser Jr. I know he's been a mainstay and a staple for the SoCal locals. Um, always play, repping that Bowser Jr. And Bowser Jr., a lot of people saying, are a lot better in, is a lot better in this game. So we hope to see him do great things with this character. But Takedos looks like going Yoshi as well. So I we'll have another Yoshi for you on screen. Um, I know that some of you uh, maybe do not like this character. Um, as a previous Yoshi game myself, I can only shake my head and say, this character is not as good as you think. Maybe you're just frustrated by this character. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Yoshi, uh, like I, like we were talking about earlier, he can threaten a lot of air. And, but the thing is that uh, Bowser Jr.'s disjointed fare that he has, that little wall that he's using, uh, covers a lot of space. So it makes it difficult for Yoshi to approach with aerials. Uh, excuse me, it will beat out a lot of what Yoshi is trying to do. Uh, in the air, it can beat out Dare, it can beat out... <coughs> excuse me, Nair even, because it's disjointed. Okay, going for up tilt there. Yeah, I'm surprised the Tito's went for that. Maybe he didn't realize... Up smash. We didn't get enough time to up smash there. But uh, looks like we're even now as we get into uh, the second stock here. Zero to zero. Yeah, again, that fair is going to be huge for Tatonator in this match. Uh, but also that up air as well, putting on 70% of damage with just one move. That's crazy. Uh, one of those moves that staling is actually good at, uh, good for because it allows you know, to continue to combo uh, you know as you for those of you who aren't familiar as you continue to use moves in this game uh, they will be less effective uh, the game builds a queue of each move that you use if you say use up air it continually it will have less knockback and less damage so uh, that's one of the reasons Bowser Jr. is able to combo you for so long with those up airs. Uh, and wow, Terminator is now suddenly running away with this one, as we say in the business. Uh, but Kidos finds his way in there. That down air can be great for poking. Uh, uh, the, a lot of those multi-hit moves, it's difficult to sit and tell when you're supposed to be letting go of shield. Uh, wow, that cart almost killing there. Oh, Tito's needed to air dodge there. Um, I don't think he had used it already. He thought maybe he had another egg there. So the way the eggs work is uh, each consecutive egg, you get less uh, aerial, uh, less height on your up beat, uh, which can allow you to grab ledge towards the higher amount of height. So the other thing about it, though, is once you grab ledge, it doesn't refresh the eggs. So if you try to use eggs off stage again uh, after being knocked off stage, say you recover, throw an egg, grab ledge, uh, and then you drop down from ledge, it will have counted as your second egg off stage. Anyway, here, uh, Taternator starting off with a jab right there. Great move. Actually, a pretty solid kill move for Bowser Jr. as well. And very disjointed. Alright, back there. Cool. And the up air is coming in from Kido's here. It says, Kido's saying, it's my turn to up air you. I'm gonna put on a bunch of damage right now. There's a lot of cat clown cars coming in here from Taternator. Trying to pressure his opponent, catch some landings here from Kido's. Mecha Cooper coming out, trying to pressure uh, Tito's at the ledge here. In there. Throws the Koopa car. Ah. Okay, up air not quite killing. This is lasted, uh, this off stage scenario has lasted a long time, but uh, you know, tomorrow, 
a free player that shows that, you know, you get hit, but you don't get hit by the stuff that kills you. And uh, Kido's finding his way back in and using that down B for a kill. Um, that down B is, is punishable, but uh, in a lot of situations, it's, it's hard because of the stars that Yoshi has when he lands. And it can make that move very difficult to punish and uh, very frustrating. So you, a lot of Yoshis at the mid level will go for it because they don't end up getting punished for it. Uh, in fact, a lot of their opponents get damaged because their stars do damage as well. Okay, F smash there from Taternator. Okay, back here, sending Crayon off stage again, using the clown card to maybe catch a aggressive recovery there. Yoshis love to go for aggressive recoveries there, especially because their armor protects them from a lot. Um, okay, grab, I mean, a uh, jab. If, uh, yeah, I was about to say, if Tater gets a jab combo near the edge there, it could kill there. He was a little too far, but that move is strong. A jab combo. All right, back air, killing torpedoes. Uh, Tater off. Oh yeah, sorry. Torpedoes off stage here, landing it. Oh, gets a up air, up smash, popping off right now. Torpedoes. Can he find anything else? Can he close out this stock right now? Tater Nader's hanging back here. He's getting his Koopalings out. Okay, he's making it hard for the Kidos here. And he gets hit by the landing Koopa car there. Oh, sorry, the landing Mecha Koopa there. And wow, Taternator getting hit in his clown car from the down B. I feel like it would be giving uh, Kidos a little too much credit to say he predicted that. But uh, nonetheless, great, uh, great for Kidos there. Okay, Dare. Could do a lot of damage, but only finding a little, uh, a few of those hits from that move. And, okay, up air. Oh, nice down air there. Waits out the explosion. Okay, up air. Yeah, Tokidos is doing a great job of finding these uh, F-tilts into up air conversions. And he's brought him back into this game. But will that Koopa Link kill him? Wow. The Mecha Koopa. Ends that match. <laughs> he throws the Mega Koopa. What a what a finish. Your winner, Taternator there. Taking out a Yoshi main there, Taquitos. It looks like next though we have K9 and Tempo. You just heard from Tempo earlier on the mic. And K9 uh, has been making